Okay, everyone, we are about to take a first look at Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. We are playing on Xbox Series X. Full disclosure, this was a review copy provided by the publisher. Uh, this came out like a couple of days ago. We're playing this on the 19th of the 11th. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. Um, Frog, uh, Frogwares, uh, they've been making these Sherlock Holmes games forever. Like, they, if you don't know what else they did, they like, did like sinking city uh that came out a couple of years ago and the next gen versions just came out recently apparently that was well received i never played any of the sherlock Holmes games obviously i like sherlock holmes as a character now i like the movies and the tv shows and all that and um i heard these games are always kind of well regarded for the fans who like these style of games uh so i was like yo let's go in and have a first look at this uh as always short video might be up on youtube long version on up on twitch I did play this uh, to test audio and all that off stream. And this is a bit of a slow start, like super slow. Like, you know, you talk to people and get clues and solve mysteries. And, you know, so it's going to be, what is the right term for those type of games? Like, is it like, you know, those visual novel games, uh, pi pixel peep, is that how you refer it to? But it's like, you know, the, imagine that with no weebness and um, this like for the first time in the Sherlock Holmes games. Uh, they're going they've made like an open world so it's like those games but set in an open world um and it could be like quite technical of how you solve clues and got loads of mechanics around that let's quickly have a look at these settings here um audio sorry this music is a little bit loud in the beginning video options uh let's just let's just get in and play a new game Um, so this is going to be based off of more of a, like a young Sherlock Holmes, not the one we're all used to seeing. But I, from what I've played, Ginger, but the hour, that's what you need. A the hour of it, it does kind of borrow like some stuff from the movie this. style. Oh, thank you for your support, John. And you know how he don't suppose you actually deduces stuff. No, from the BBC show and all that as well, terrific. kind of. Worry, You'll see. Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So much for docking by tea time. The captain seemed yeah, more but interested the, the in the style you can see straight away is like mates. super young. Oh, sure Watson is like they Cheer both up. look super We've young and like up. way more. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Ugh. I'm starting to question whether the weeks-long journey was worth it. Traveling all this way. Watson is really out there. He's like seems very different. Uh, also, Watson. Uh, is this going to be spoiler? Actually, no, I won't say nothing. Around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I believe it was that this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're also, my late. Twitch chat is going to have to let me know how his we'll voice audio. We'll to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It will be worth it. Thank you, John. And if you want to notify the captain. Chat goes, he walks like Agent 47. Oh, my God. I can't unsee that now. You're so right. That's actually oh, true. At last. I'm quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on. We'll go together. But yeah, we're going to get into the thick of it straight away. I'll show you how complex it gets. It's like pin clues and pin the mission and then go look for clues. And it's like that style. But yeah, I've never covered any of these. I'm fascinated to play, right? Like I like games of all types. So um, I saw some of the trailers of this and the open world stuff. And it looked, looked like a, graphically like a decent game. So that's why it was on my radar and i was like oh it gives me the chance to finally try one of these right like you know we play visual novel games here all the time so big fan of the ace attorney games so let's see what a more serious and an open world and more in-depth clue hey, system Sherry, kind of game on, feels like up. yes yes all right welcome to the game use left stick to move around and press a to interact with objects Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound um, of my voice. Right trigger to run. Welcome to Il Palazzo Deluso, sir. 
Welcome to Il Palazzo di Lusso, sir. We just need your signature. Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? Uh, I'm going to get through some of this Would quickly. Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? Because, again, I played for about an hour. Ah, and I did Holmes. get stuck uh, quite yes, a bit, but I know what to do here. Prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I, I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Uh, when I was playing offline, I was literally checking. I was checking each door, so it took me a couple of minutes to find my room. And then I could instantly tell, okay, it's going to be one of those games. I... I read your duties on the Venomoth uh, with great interest, and although some parts of it of it still remain unclear for me, I must say that you have done an impressive amount of research. I strongly recommend you publish as soon as possible, for I uh, anticipate a great and wide practical use of your method as soon as I become known. Sincerely, Professor Gilbert. Uh, a letter. Anyway, yeah, I, I got a bit stuck finding my room. I was like, where is it? And I was playing offline and then there's like another whole section over here and it was tucked away in this corner. I apologize, sir, but your room is not yet ready. Perhaps, in the meantime, you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight, the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. Let's check what they have on offer. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. I think, um... They had like a Twitch app or something for this game as well. I don't know what it does, but it integrates with chat. Hey, Sherry, just our luck. Not really. I like to have first look at games, right? So, uh, so everybody can get an understanding of what this is. I know that's not how most people play, so I tend to kind of avoid that Pardon, stuff. Monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. But yeah, there is something. 99% um, of people who are playing this don't play like that. So I just, you know. Unless we're playing like one versus 100 or, you know, that style of game. Uh, I don't usually do that kind of hey, stuff. Hey, Sherry, just our luck. But it's there if you're interested. A medium, John, haven't we been through this already? Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Excuse me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galich is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me. Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir, it's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. All things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Ha! Huh. That seems rather close-minded. Truth, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. So tell me, what do you see? Mediocrity. Savage. Let him know. Come now, Sherry. What did he do to deserve that? The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. Ceviche, bar... Okay, time to check if John found us a nice table for the evening. <laughs> Sherry, I'm over here with my new Ursine companion. What are you waiting for? Put the dish down so we... Cordon is even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? What do you have in mind? 
Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Ah, uh, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. Well, then, you can deliver it to him as well. Try to say, they're shocked that has to be Sherlock Holmes and James Bond crossover. I wonder who owns each IP. Deliver it to him. <laughs> then what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Oh, stubborn, Sherry. Too stubborn. You wanted something to do. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. We talking about right. That's super fun to do. Take a look. Makes you feel alive. Slapping yourself in the face. Right, chat? YouTube? Um, all right. Move with left stick. Rotate with right stick. Hold A to inspect. Okay, hold A. A crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow. Perhaps the Fielding family or meadows. Or Craven from the old English name meaning garlic place. The cane is made of ebony. It's worn uncared for. And bears the scars of numerous hits. The hand grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue, probably stolen from a temple. The dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. Don't ask me about the cane. I was with you the whole time. Um. Pardon, Monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Oh, did I not pick it up? Sorry. All right. I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane itself is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here. Or is that off putting? Uh, Sherlock can ask bystanders about pieces of evidence. Press the three lines button. I still don't know the name. I'm going to call it start. To open the case book, pin the evidence with X and then speak to someone. Try it now with the cane. All right. Pinned evidence. Certain investigation action require pin evidence when uh, profiling people. It will enable you to spot relevant traits in concentration mode po points of interest and tracking appear when you have the relevant evidence pinned in inquiries with passers-by sherlock will only ask about pin evidence you can pin the evidence from the case book this icon indicates that you must pin the evidence to proceed this icon indicates you must pin the evidence to proceed press x to pin the evidence you can also pin evidence from the hud pin the evidence when this icon appears in the upper right corner Press up pin evidence without opening the case book. Left and right scroll through evidence until you see the one you need. So yeah, uh, I, I got my opinion. We we check this out in a little. We're gonna do it now, and I, I I got my opinions on this. This, like, I get why they're doing this here, but this whole system feels kind of like they could have gamified this out, right? Like this is the mission we're on, and auto pin this mission and have it there, but they want you to go out your way to go here and then. You know, oh, here's the mission, and then pin this, and then it's there, and now we can ask questions about it. That seems. Pardon, Monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. You know, I get what they're doing because they want you to be thorough and that kind of detail oriented, but it's still a video game. Like, I don't know if I really want them to go like that, right? Like, you know, like I can't remember that I need to go ask somebody about this thing. Oh, I, I'm on. I'm looking for this person, and you know, I have to pin the evidence there to look for this person. It just seems kind of needlessly. Eh. All right. Um, this cane is accessory for a British nobleman. I can ask other guests about who may have been previously sitting here. Let's ask. May I ask for your assistance, friend? You're lucky. There is something I know about this. Uh, there were three people at the table, a couple and a retired Navy officer. Observers weren't sure what happened to the couple, but the Navy officer was seen going out 
to the front garden for some air. I have to find him. Well, even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the cane's owner on your first try. <laughs> and would you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why not? Let's see how good you really are. All right. Uh, press RB to concentrate and reveal details to identify your target. Don't forget to pin the relevant evidence. Some clues won't be visible without a try. Uh, find the former Navy officer. Okay, so if we go here, um, what do we see? English teacher sympathetic suffering from. German secretary friendly perfectionist. Excuse me, got hiccups. Um, you can get out this mode at any time. All right, so front garden. So this is like our detective vision, basically. One annoying thing is you can't run in this. You have to exit it and then. All right, so look. Sympathetics. Leaps on stomach. Deaf and right ear, friendly, and what else? Coordination. Uh, police snitch? Oh, my friendly. Scottish. Okay, so we're looking for somebody who's British, they said, right? Uh, let's turn that off so we can turn this back on. Welsh, okay, can't be Albanian. Uh, no, come on. Are they both? Like, why wasn't? Oh, there we go. Arab secretary, okay, and then. French lawyer friendly retired military officer. Okay, so maybe I, oh, so we're looking for Englishman, but we was to find the Kane's owner. I have to locate the former Navy officer. Okay, so that's blatantly this guy then, right? Also, I know because I played off, but you know, come on, you know. Help me, please, my dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. Uh, the Navy officer, Mister Rose, was sitting at our table with the noble couple. Of them. The men talked about y y yachting, um, and the lady was fidgeting with the cane. Perhaps she put it aside, and her husband forgot to take it when they went to meet the medium. Now I have a perfect excuse to enter hey, hey, Sherry, the don't room. We now have the perfect excuse to visit the séance. I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. Hey, is there more? Hold on. Uh, place on map, pin evidence. So this one's still pinned. Unpin pin. Me today. Only fame with the medium. I wants to visit the medium. Again, I know that it was in this back room because that you can it was blocked before and there was a person I could speak to. It took me a couple minutes to find this room, but just to make sure that this video doesn't go on forever, we can quicken this up a little bit. I was fumbling my way through for the first hour. Full of thieves. First my cane, now the diamond. And I hear is where you see the Take your hands you know, off BBC me. show or the recent movie style of you even know Sherlock Holmes that they do here. Hey, boy, that's my cane. I get that a lot. It's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made. A joke. A joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? Observe. Uh... 
Bowler reddish skin, okay. Rich and fashionable. Doesn't wear a wedding ring. Okay, so maybe he's rich and fashionable, soul and reddish skin. Recently hit someone in the face. Okay. A head of a garlic. A head of a garlic doesn't wear a wedding ring. Red face. Swollen and reddish skin. Expensive and new clothes. Rich and fashionable. Slightly red knuckles. Recently hit someone. Uh, bored British nobleman. Hold on. Judging by the uh, emblem on his signet ring and cane, I can be fairly certain that this man is Lord Craven, a bored rich Englishman nobleman who travels around Europe squandering his money. His florid face indicates that he has problems with alcohol. He is still physically strong and healthy, but in a few years' time, he'll be wretched. Being constantly drunk, he, is, he has issues with... Uh, judging by emblem on his signet ring, I can briefly fairly say certain that this man is Lord Craven, noble Englishman. His florid face indicates that he has succumb succumbed to temptation of drink a few shots of alcohol. Perhaps he was unsettled by the, the scene. By his red his knuckles, I presume that ill or bored. Okay, so I know the answer is the top one because I randomly clicked it when I was testing audio off stream. I'm just curious to see if I click the bottom what what happens because most of it is the same, right? But it's like one he's ill and one he's bored. So let's see what if I click the bottom one. Uh, judging by the on his single ring, I can bro okay see what happens. Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything I needed to know. I was after a strong middle-aged man with a keen interest in adventure, noble blood, and affection for strong drink. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. That's me, Lord Andrew Craven. You are the real medium. You hear ah. that, Emma? Well, so it doesn't matter what you pick here. The outcome is the same. Diamond too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr. Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure... Yeah, because I clicked the top one last time and it said the, the same police. thing. Why bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only Maybe if you just is, guess his name is enough and the rest doesn't matter. Why have two options there is Fine. Weird. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. What happened at the you seance? insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah, it was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Ah, oh, yes. Common in the spiritualist trade, and quite the spectacle. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the diamond was gone. Tell me about the How diamond. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an Indian king. So you were summoning long-dead Indian royalty, and, pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. I'm going to look around. Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. 
Don't fret, I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. All right, press LB to highlight interactive areas in the environment around you. This ability must recharge before it can be used again. Okay. Uh, concentration helps you pick up smaller details about the world around you when you see a scribble with a circle press rb to observe the object more closely concentration hold on press that to activate concentration uh, white circles indicate point of interest hence that you should concentrate sherlock will notice details about objects or even deduce what may may now be missing in the casebook this icon on a piece of evidence indicates that you need to use concentration concentration lets you profile people around around you this will reveal some personal attributes and their friendliness towards sherlock concentration also enables tracking after pinning and the relevant evidence to the screen use concentration to follow the, uh, the tracks while staying within the region map okay casebook pin concentration combat we haven't really got to that yet. Okay. The diamond was placed on the table so that all participants could reach it. This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm. The ghost was here, Sherry. Half a glass of foul Blair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? Uh... There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. Moths. Ooh. New mine palace clue. Oh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Oh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Are any spirits here now? We'll find out who did it. I will investigate and the culprit will be identified. But the stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him. Please. Ah, seems like you're ready to delve into your mind, Palace Sherry. I'm sure the evidence collected. You found enough clues to make a deduction. Open the casebook with the start, then navigate to Mind Palace inside a pair. Of, inside a pair, of the clues you've gathered to make a deduction. Wait, I didn't, didn't have take a, the diamond. I swear. Didn't he have uh, another dialogue tree? Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. Really, Sherry thing damn the man just called the feebleness of women rude quite a display for the tremulous visitor how can you not love this stuff sherry it adds so much was this covered on purpose of course it is very dangerous to leave a mirror exposed during a seance 
The spirits may become enraged. Or someone may notice the trick they should not see. All right, what did it say? Go to mine palace. Hold on, whilst we unlock here. Essential scene room. Scenic room has a table of condom. There is a whole. Da, 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 da. Medium's testimony, Lord Craven's testimony. Character. Okay. What's this? Unlucky seance. It seems that the seance went south. I don't know what happened yet, but I uh, doubt the spirits were reasonable for the punch. Were responsible for the punch to Luca. Uh, perhaps the man who hit him can explain. Uh, mind palace. Uh, ghosts of the past. Deduction. Help. Okay, hold on. How does this work? Examine your clues to get answers. Current. Choose your current case. Okay. Select a clue. Okay. Combine it with relevant one. Get new evidence in your case book. Make a new deduction. Some deductions have different interpretations leading to other case outcomes. Choose the interpretation that you believe. Okay. Resolve any logical conflicts. Deductions links link to form one version of events resulting in a suspect to con condemn or pardon. A mind palace is a place to think and any decision can still change by your action. Okay, so. Uh, Lady Craven faced the window during the sounds. Lady Craven place at the table was opposite a window to the courtyard. Moth pin. Luca owns a pin in the shape of a moth. The lady pointed across the table. Lady Craven pointed across the a table at some at something and screamed lord craven punched a medium when he discovered that the diamond had been stolen lord craven punched a medium in the face so if we do this and then can we link together and this what did i do courtyard witness lady craven was pointing at the window i'm sure she was saw someone in the courtyard during the sounds wait I, what happened clues oh then you go back is that why i deduced we deduced as a witness luca owns a pen in the shape of a moth what would this do nothing oh okay so that's just what about that and that no nothing okay so those are the uh oh my god testimony someone in the courtyard lady craven must have seen someone outside as she was pointing out the window i'm certain that someone will uh let's let's pin this it seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Ah, I hope it was the ghost of the Raja. Hold on, didn't this mean that it needs something? I can't remember what the... That's not pin, that means... Concentrate, right? This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. One man even lifted. At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. All evidence collected. Okay, he was in the rugby Thank team. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Hold on. Can we? Do we get more mind palace stuff now that he was in the rugby team? Okay. So there's no more evidence in here. Concentrate. Can 
Rotate, turn. This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. Uh, to track someone's movement, first pin the relevant evidence to the to the screen. Then enter concentration mode with RB to reveal tra uh, trail. Sherlock will intuit approximate path. Just stay with the search area. Uh, is it already pinned? Uh, concept Sherlock will initiate. What the fuck did I say before? Jeez, reading details. Hold on. Uh, press right bumper to activate concentration. Scribble. Hold on. Um, Sherlock will notice details about the object in the case with the icon piece to get evidence. Case it needs concentration. Concentration also enables tracking. Okay, concentrate. Uh, okay. It looks like the old man is losing his behavior. Uh, being reckless is these are going down in one by one don't think there's much honey left in the thing within the swarm all right i need paw i'm confused must i concentrate press rb rear shoulder will initiate the approximate path so stay within the search area Um, can you satisfy my curiosity? That's a question I can answer. The resident who was in the courtyard saw a maid who was working on in the courtyard. He noticed that she left in a hurry after a scream. You entering someone in the courtyard. Wait, what happened here? Oh, all of a sudden. Size four with a broken heel. Most of more. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless... Oh, no. What a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. This reminds me of the fairy tale, Sherry. Will you find your princess? I mean, it's annoying him constantly calling him Sherry. Unless, like, in the books and all that he did, like, as a nickname. But sh I like Sherlock. Oh, no, wait. Her, his brother used to call him Shirley, right? Or Sherry, maybe. I can't remember. Minecraft, right? I had a play on his name. Could you help me? Hmm. You look like an honorable man. I have some Prashima. information for you. The staff said that terrible names got a scolding from the sh uh, chief steward for wearing common shoes at work. She should be cleaning near the picture upstairs. 
two sides four she is upstairs near the painting the resident saw a maid who left painting no painting painting uh there's a painting or not a maid skills like that this biblical lady could get a job in scotland yard finally there you are one would think a maid would be easy to find in this place I, I, i'm sorry sir do you need more towers no no you are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room yes how did you know simple you changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene i'm sorry sir but if i may ask who are you uh, I am a writer. Lie. I mean, that's the truth. precious diamond was stolen during the seance. Lord Craven entrusted me with its recovery. I'm I'm sorry, sir, but we are forbidden to discuss the private matters of our guests. Hmm. Are you also forbidden the from links don't sync uh, sync up at all? Saletta, Lucia Saletta, sir. Tell me, Miss Saletta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I. Oh, please, sir, don't tell him. I have a family. I need this work. I won't, but only if you answer my questions truthfully. And don't play coy. I can tell. What a dick. What did you see in the room? Describe what happened during the seance. Oh, a lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest, a glowing cloud or a, a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost. A sickly, evil thing. Did you see and anything that's else? all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? Mm -hmm. It was Slimer, chat. Medium, Mr. Galici. He was doing something with the I ghost. I gotta watch that new movie. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right. I have your account memorized. Good day. All right, uh, she she's up. really deserved that. We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. A okay, crime scene. Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. Uh, with enough clues, Sherlock can use imagination to reconstruct the past and track with nose to begin, then recreate an accurate version of events. Here, try to place the sentence, the uh, sounds participants in the correct position. Okay. Uh, previous next. <gasps> oh, I s hold on. <gasps> so she couldn't have been there because she was looking at the window, right? So she has to be there. Um, you can't have two of those. So, is that it? Uh, validate. 
You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Okay. Oh, obviously he was there by the window. Okay, okay, I got that wrong. No. Where is he holding? It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Amazing! Oosh. It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? A jellyfish. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. All right, 226, finest sweets. This one was mine, right? Two, oh, there's numbers, 226, 223, 224. Lady Craven is not 226. Remember her behavior? Uh, gossip can help you investigate a case or even discover new ones. So don't hesitate to eavesdrop on people when you see an ear, hold A and try to fill out important words from useless chatter. What action, what action by Lady Craven ar aroused suspicion in the maid? Her start. Prices rising again. Uh... Discard up to keep. Keep. Sons. Bad. Acquaintances. Oh, what? Well. <coughs> Good at video games. Chat messed that up. Alright, hold on. Lady Craven is. Okay. Lots of guests this summer. Alright. Why would she be. Prices rising again, we already know it wasn't wrong, right? Was on the lookout. Chef steals food. Sun's bad. Oh, okay. Nothing to do with sun. I didn't realize what I said that time. What, why would there be anything to do with the sun? I don't know. Lady Craven is not. Hey, price is rising. Don't care. Lots of guests this summer. Don't care. Made her husband drink. That'd be relevant. Sun's all right. Nothing to do with sun. Nothing to do with it. Was on the lookout. That makes sense. Cannot use a fish knife. Sure. I over two staff members talking about Lady Craven. Those gossip that the woman may not be the wife of Lord Craven. By their observations, she was on the lookout during the evening while trying to get Lord Craven drunk. They also noticed that the lady was unsure on how to properly use a fish knife. Oh, here, wasn't his wife? Oh, now we're getting to the juicy bit. Murder, well, here, murder, murder. Last, I didn't do that. I swear, I found her this way. Well, I, I did you. have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. I think you did it, bro. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici the medium. Was Emma with you? And was your mistress there too? 
Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Where is the medium? Where did you go next? We know where the medium is, right? Locked up. Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. What did you so do So what next? transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my oh, room wasn't to paying attention what room he was bed. in. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Barely an hour has passed. All right. Already have First floor. A mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? Do something about it, Holmes. I, I did not do it. You know that. I don't know shit, bro. All right, hold on. Okay, more evidence here. So what is a concentrate? Aha, uh -huh. a neat hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? <sighs> hmm, this ring looks out of place among the others and the design is familiar. That's what we saw like in that room, right? Hold on. Virtus or Dr. Sapit, courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Uh, what else is here? Fard, Rouge, Calomel, Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. The mystery deepens. A victim with a checkered past and poor taste. Okay. More here. A remarkably simple lock. I go through simple lock. This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. Big ass diamond, jeez. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. Maybe he was looking for a diamond and then murdered her once she found it, had it? Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. Do you think she stole the stone? It's certainly possible. But we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. Um, okay. Oh, I guess we got up. Hold on, we got Lowe's portrait, Raven's testimony, medium's testimony, maid's testimony. Wait, what was this? Oh, maid's testimony. I love over two staff member talking about Lady Craven. Lord Craven told me that he found Miss Emma dead shortly after coming upstairs. 
Okay, let's pin that. What's this? This needs pinning because it tells us ring with moth design. I found it, this cheap ring with a moth design almost amongst the hidden jewels it is made of a copper and looks old it does not fit the, with other jewelry i found a pile of money and family ring hidden in secret uh miss emma's lies dead here it in her bed the body still warm lord craven is nearby frightened and shocked the bruises on the lady's neck show that she was sh strangled the bed around her is disarray it appears that she fought for her life there is a large diamond next to her body and lord craven confirms it is the one that was stolen during the seance a bag with the lady's belongings is open wide with everything strewn uh strewn around as if it had been searched the the door between the rooms has a cheap lock uh anything else uh and then we got new mind palace okay what we got uh luke owns a pin in the shape of a moth lord craven punched the medium seance the diamond was stolen during the seance lord craven was in was in the room with emma emma was strangled diamond was besides emma the lock can be easily picked moth ring so let's do the two moth stuff on here reveal luke and emma both had jewelry with the same moth design could they have something in common Okay. Lord Craven punched the medium. Thief. Lord Craven was with em was with. Well, Lord Craven was in the room with Emma. Lord Craven. Lord Craven stayed in the room with Emma for some time. Emma was strangled. Maybe like he punched and strangled. No. Okay, just guessing now. All right. Um, the diamond was stolen during the seance. Okay, and then the lock can be easily picked. Emma was strangled. The diamond was okay. That's easy. Okay, let's go on here. Reveal. The murder left the diamond. Who killed Emma? Left the diamond besides her. Lord Craven caught Emma with the stone. Lord Craven returned to the room just as Emma was hiding the diamond and caught her off guard. Oh, can we? Ah, interesting here. You can pick one. I, it looks like, I think that one. Then Lord Craven was in the room with Emma. Lord Craven punched the medium. Emma was strangled. What if we do this and this? Okay, that's nothing. The lock can be easily picked. Emma was strangled. Okay, so we've got no more. Lord Craven told me that he spent some time at the bar before coming upstairs. Oh, can I question him now? Provide. Provide evidence. Choose the evidence. Hidden jewels. Ring with moth design. Lord Craven's explanation. The probable thief. Hold on. Can we go speak? Hold on, I am needed elsewhere. But for the YouTube video, there might be a cut just so I don't spoil the first story, whatever. Just so I can show off some of the open world stuff. We'll see. I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? Funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I think I was too young to understand. 
couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. New location. Evidence updated. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Um, mother's love. Okay. Ired at Cordona. Spent one night in there. That's not how I imagined my time in Cordona, but the thrill of the case helped. Uh, a bunch of. Asked mother's favorite flowers. John asked if I remember my mother's funeral. I don't, but I can tr try to recall. So let's pin this. Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. Mycroft and I had to leave for London just after the funeral. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastors said they're united in heaven. I didn't believe him even then. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I, I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remember? Oops, I cut through that. Seems familiar, John. Why is it here? This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, Mother. A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? All right, uh, pin, someone, someone lit the candle and left the pocket watch, the pocket watch belongs to the, the, the. All right, are we gonna find like footsteps maybe now? A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prints suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. You were about to tell me the make and model of tire, but let me assure you, I do not care. Hmm. Ah, 
Well, it was going to be very impressive. Come on then, the trail continues ahead. I wish they would let you run while you're in this view. He mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. It's stained with oil paint. A portable easel was kept there. The hospital equipped. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria. An artist working in a cemetery? Do you think he'd paint my portrait? More evidence collected. Uh Oh, it's here. Oh, right? it's that ridiculous artist from the hotel. Be nice, Sherry. Make friends. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. Uh, did you visit my mother's tomb? How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh my! It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I'd forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure answers penance? Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth. I don't think got lip syncing. Of course, I understand. Like, she died of consumption, drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no. You'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. And what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. How I'm going to be doing? You to your closure. Who killed mom? Do you stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Much more to this guy. Are you all right, that. Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore oh. Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. The archives at the City Hall Police Station and Cordona Chronicle may hold key information for your case. When you investigate a piece of evidence, think about which location is the most appropriate to visit. Alright, um...
I mean, I guess we just go to the police station, right? Yeah, alright, this definitely has like Chadra and stuff. How open is the open world, curious? Okay, not really that open worldy. Um, press hey or hold hold to fast travel. Okay, I don't want to fast travel. Actually, I do want to fast travel. I say here. Hold a fast travel. Uh, that's not. Not how that works, dude. Edit, delete. How do I delete? Oh, down on the D-pad. running that way new fast travel point okay so looks pretty decent i mean it fits this style style right it's not pushing Oh my god, next gen level graphics, what do you think, but... Performance could use some work though. Am I talking to Stark? Do this, Stark. Do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes, what is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief, and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, yes. I'm quite certain I am. Let me prove it. Well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. All right. To access the archer, I need to help the police sketch artist. So uh, uh, the police needed the the, 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 the sketch artist wasn't able to the Knights Road and Trinity Way. Knights Road, Trinity Way. Okay. Bring up the map. Uh, Knights Road, Trinity Way. Wait, there's. Oh, there's got to be a quicker way to. Wait, really? That's going to take. Sorry, I'm busy now. Sorry, I'm busy now.
Are you able to help me? Go back to your fancy house. I mean... Intersection of Knight's Way and... Knight... Intersection of Knight's Road and Trinity Way. So we know is in this area. Knight something and Trinity. And they're really... Alright, there's Trinity Way. Uh, I just lost Trin Trinity Way here. Knight's Road. There wasn't a Knight's Road there though. There's another Trinity. Oh, Trinity Way. The Trinity Way goes round. And. Arsenal Street. Let's go. Arsenal fan out here. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Knights Road, Trinity Way intersection. So it's here, right? The first one they made easy is literally go round the corner. Is this familiar to you? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. You can't give me a freaking location, please? Okay, here we go. Here? Here. Found it. Pro streamer. I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, signore. Uh, let's do it differently. Please just... What's this? I suggest we do it differently. You have... A great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, in your homes. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal, if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And... That's it? Could you be more specific? It right, was a glasses. total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. Where can I find the clothes? They're in my workshop at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? Uh, okay, this freaking... The thief looked an utter rascal. He was beaten up and was wearing glasses. What can I do for you, Sherlock? Your hit dead ends when your investigation if you don't dress apparently appropriately. Luckily, Sherlock has a trump for disguise, so... So visit the wardrobe menu to change outfits. Visit the wardrobe menu to change outfits. Uh, wardrobe, wardrobe. Okay, wardrobe. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, how do I toggle? Yeah, it won't let me move. 
toggle previous next rotate it's stuck oh my god what the hell controls could use a little bit of work here Oh, it's D-pad. Okay, okay. All right, it's a uh, analog stick, not D-pad. He looked a, a rascal. But we haven't got any clothes. Two wardrobe items required. Okay, got it. Man, I'm be honest with you. I hope they commit to this fully. Like absolutely like oh I have to go around the world get like get the right disguise blah 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 blah. Um, from what I'm hearing they do because a lot of people are saying it can get kind of difficult. You have no idea what to do, whatever. Oh, look at this old chap putting on airs like some Italian doge. Why don't you disguise yourself as him instead? We have a job to do, John. Oh, come on, at least do him first. What can I do for you? John suggests that I surprise Mrs. Nina in impersonating a man in the painting before attempting to disguise myself as a thief. He is an old man with sideburns wearing a white suit on top hat. Okay, so we go here. Uh, wearing a white suit. Um, top hat, side burns. What can I do for you, Sherlock? Something isn't right. Uh, he's an old man with sideburns wearing a white suit and a top hat. Something isn't right. What am I messing up here? You can't change clothes here. Okay, top hat. Sideburns. Old man makeup. Okay, he was an old man. What else was he? He's an old man with sideburns wearing a white suit and a top hat. Okay, maybe that's what it is. Uncle Giovanni? Oh, signore. You look exactly like my uncle. He's the grandson of the Doge of Venice, you know. I knew you reminded me of someone. You are as alike as two peas. Uh, perhaps you have some royal blood in you too. That is flattering, I suppose. But I sincerely doubt it, Mum. He's a Doge. Now that's a deduction. He's not an actual Doge. If you say so, my lord, the Doge. All right, now let's. Uh, okay, that's complete. The thief looked like an utter rascal. He was beaten up and was wearing glasses. Beaten up, wearing glasses, looked like a rascal. Okay, so. The worst suit in the game is just awful. Police uniform, white suit. Holds pants up, keeping hands free. Would this be it? He was wearing a square pair in your round holes being for benefit of his eyesight. Keep a chin away from the prying eyes. I wonder if rascals have a particular type of
Oh, we should probably get rid of the top hat. Uh, how about this? No, those clothes are wrong. He was dressed in a very fancy beige suit. Must have stolen it from someone. No doubt about it. All right, I've got it. Okay. We know the suit is this then. He was wearing a hat. Didn't I tell you about the hat? We didn't go well with his suit. That man had no dress sense at all. Well, what did it look like? Oh, just a regular hat, you know, black. Regular black hat. It's a good way to teach you this me mechanic of disguise, right? I appreciate it. It's regular black hat, bowler hat. What's on your head? What's on your head? I see what they did. It's probably this. Ah, it's you. I mean, it's him. It's him. Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mom, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago, and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. Um. Okay, so basically... John has wares if you have coin. I'm going to have to buy clothes to push the story to be able to like get into Have I got the police uniform now? Police uniform. I wonder if the police uniform will help me get in. Wait, what happened to all the other... Oh, maybe that's because I'm in the police uniform. What happened to all the rest of the options? Maybe that was just for... Anything else I can uh, <coughs> borrow? Alright, so let's... Let's go back to the the fuzz. Nice to see you. Hello again, officer. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She None was at quite one. tolerable. Huh. Who would have thought? Hey, Logan, we've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. What did you say your name was? Holmes? Come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr. Holmes. Another case, I bet. All right, where are we going? These archives. Oh, we could just literally go anywhere. All right. All right, do I have to pin? Vogel is meant left by the, the, the he also mentioned as a uh, ten years ago. Okay. Peace investigation. Hi, can I speak to you? you? May I ask for your assistance? I wish I could help you, but I don't know.
Um, let me see. Select evidence and research criteria. Subject evidence districts. Uh, Vogel is the man left my mother's watch. Da, 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 da. He also mentioned there was a police investigation into my mother's death. I doubt the truth, but if they did, there would be something about it in the police archives. Uh, 10 years ago, we were living in somewhere in Grand Surrey, which should help now on the search. All right, so districts. Grand boom okay uh he uh man left my mother's watch on her well claim it was a way return to the he also mentioned that there was a police investigation into my mother's death crime misdemeanor smuggling property crime violent crime subjects suspect witness victims Evidence. Let's go victim. An violent crime ten years ago. Um. Documentation. Wait, now that I've done this, how do I... Oh, search. All I found in these archive was empty folder labeled loosely case of violent... Violet Holmes, April 9th, 1869, Stonewood Manor, Grand Sorry. There are no documents inside at all. It seems that there really was a police investigation, yet all the case files are missing. Man, I'm enjoying this. Wow, this is a bit of a surprise. John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona in a manor. And there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? What happened to our mother? The memory was vague, a, a mere flash. We have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it. I mean, I heard comments that, oh, stuff like, oh, yeah, the game's still like the older games, but like the overworld stuff and the open world stuff doesn't really matter. But even doing things here like, oh, you know, I have to go find that place on the map and all that, that is like adds to the whole of, oh, air quotes realism and I actually have to go find the place, right? And the uh, archive was the, the, it seems that there really was the, uh, I just had a flash of my uh, policeman in front of our minor, but. Okay, go Stonewood Manor. But before we do that, that guy also said, come back and talk to me, didn't he? I'm done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? As a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished, as if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to work the reception desk, like some clerk. Yes, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Well, I'm not one to balk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? That's the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. Uh, okay. So, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. You're lucky to have a well-trained civilian with a brand new auto pistol in his arsenal. An automatic? A bit of a braggart, aren't you? Are you trying to test me already? That is why you're here, boy. 
I'll need to verify your skills before I can allow you to catch criminals. The first targets are in the next room. You know what to do with them. I'll join you in a while to see the results. Gotta get my shoe on. Uh, let's unpin that for a second, I suppose. Concentrate, Sherry. Do you aim, need to press. Every target to show the sergeant how we do it. Okay, to aim, press left trigger and then fire with right trigger aiming. Activate slow motion and highlights objects. You can shoot, but only for a limited time to manually reload. Press X. Okay, makes sense. Is like a lock on as well. Can I free aim? Hey. See to the next room. Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paperwork. Come on, Sherry. It's just like in childhood. Press B to toggle between standing or crouching and rolling. Steady, Sherry. Steady. And go. My favorite mannequins for attack. Let's strike them ninja style. Aim for where you might take advantage and don't forget the environment. Aiming slows time, highlight enemy weak point and help nearby objects. Help for nearby objects. Shooting these will open your foes up for arrest. When aiming at an environmental object, make sure your enemy is in the proximity before you fire. I could do this all day. Please don't, Sherry. We don't have that much time. Let's move on. Our enemies might be stronger than us, but we rely on our wits. Shoot off their armor. Stronger enemies often wear armor for protection. Shoot off the armor... Pieces the to reveal ready. weak points. Helmets must be targeted last. Uh oh, uh -oh Sherry. Hey. That's a nice shot. All right, let's move defender. on, Sherry, if he was alive. If you stand here and use your snuff box on him, you can definitely overcome him, Sherry. It's all calculated. Uh, Sherlock can blow his snuff. Fucked at nearby enemies to disorient them. Just press RB. This ability must recharge after each use. But every arrest you make speeds up the recharge. Look at that helmet of his. You won't be able to get the powder past it. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, you boy. Well, I'm almost finished with the paperwork. Let's talk about your results. Well, I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. Perhaps you're not completely hopeless, but true combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, we'll test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the eye. That goes for in the field as well. Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Here. Take these. They are blank rounds. So, are you ready? Always ready. Then let's get cracking. Worried? Not at all. I can hit them all Murder with one shot. Cool Good luck, excessive. Sherry. And remember, the surroundings are your playground. Murder is cruel and excessive. Try to arrest the enemy instead. Dis Disorient your opponent. Get in close and press A to arrest them. Follow the cues promptly to immobilize them. I'm coming. Murder is cruel. Uh, 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 hold on. 
disorientate your opponent, get in close, and then press A to arrest them. Follow the cues of the. Overcome him! Don't rush! I couldn't miss the party! I'm coming! Wait. I don't understand. What do you want to do? Press A? I couldn't miss the party! I'm coming for you! It won't work this way! I couldn't miss the party! I'm coming! Oh, do I have to? Weaken him first! I'm coming for you! Uh, left stick up, okay. Coming for you, bro. I'm about to. Oh, I see. Take a rest, my friend. Give him the pepper snuff. The pepper snuff. So who the f I thought we were against murder. Oops. But while he was shooting me. Stop, stop, stop. What do you think you're doing? You could have injured the poor fella. I can't allow you to carry a gun if you'll only use it to kill. Your task is to detain. Don't forget that. Once again, without the brutal shootout this time. Let's start over, boys. <sighs> Video games have got me, you know, doing headshots out here. I'm sorry. Also, I was checking the audio levels, by the way. That's my excuse. All right. I'm not to murder anybody this time. I'm coming. No more crime for you until next month. How'd you handcuff him? This I couldn't miss the party. Oh, okay, well, that happened. Oh, shit. No, that's not what I want to do. Symbol. The snuff's ready. I'll press A to arrest them. Get ready. Ready to get in close, then press A to arrest them. Follow the cues promptly to mobilize your foes. Up. Damn it. Coming. I couldn't miss the party. For you, give him the that pepper snuff. Hurt. Brush dreamer. You've proved yourself. Congratulations on the arrests. I can't believe you did so well with the close combat. I did tell you that I'm well trained. Well, do the same on the street, and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is your certificate. You are now 
an authorized crime scene consultant. Well, it's now your duty to make this city a safer place. Cordona won't ever forget it, but at the same time, it will never remember. I'll tell Stark all the necessary details about your successful certification. Congratulations. Now you're a certified crime scene consultant. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Now, shall we head for Stonewood Manor? Don't know. You have the whole island to investigate. It's all up to you. I wonder why bigger devs don't try something like this. How cool would it be to see Ubisoft with a massive crazy budget? Like have the Assassin's Creed world, right? But instead of just going stabby stabby, you do something interesting in it like this. Like full on that this level of you know be a detective Hello. I guess like from the criticisms is like you know I don't know it's not a living breathing world and I don't know how much of it affects really is just you know you go to a location and point and click right pixel peep whatever you want to call it uh yes still enough to do something interesting right and the way that you can place like markers on the map and everything uh like is borderline and it, we're gonna say it chat we're gonna say it like zelda star right so it's kind of boring from that that like you have to discover all the information in the world again like in a different style of game Where are we going? All the way. Let's go down. The Market Find Square. The beating heart of the old city. Uh, I wonder if they still saw that hidden meter. So the devs were. Um, pretty cool about uh sorry the publisher there's no next generation tax on this and then again you could argue well this ain't really got next gen performance but you know yeah there is not there's just i think one version that upgrades again if you're playing on twitch there's like a you know you can help chat help with evidence and stuff These days, though, I don't know if that's really to add to the game, right? Devs are pretty smart. They want content creators to play their game, get free press, and build hype, right? And most of that time, most of that stuff is not really to improve the game or anything like that. It's just a easy way to get coverage for the game, if we're being honest. Um, oh, is that it? Fast travel unlocked. Uh, but yeah, just in general, I haven't played any of their other games. Uh, so I was like, wasn't sure what we was going into this. Sure, the pace is a bit slower, but it totally works here. I'm like genuinely, genuinely surprised by this game and even Im impressed that I'm like, I thought I would enjoy it, but I didn't, I didn't know how they was going to do it. Right. Some, some of the stuff like, oh, how they... You got pin evidence and you know you have to pin it before you can talk to people i guess they are making that needlessly complex just to like kind of add it make it seem more complex than it needs to be is that it right if we're being honest because you could just have that as a oh open you could just have that as check marks right oh you've you've collected these missions anybody you talk to that just progresses the mission in the background right oh pin in it you can only question when you pin war that seems like very clunky and it seems like they've done that on purpose to make it seem like legendary pirate the robin hood of the place uh Do you, recall it, John? you know Do. you're doing I'm more work than you need to but eh, there, there's no need for that um i've heard people talk about the combat to say well that's also a bit clunky here 
Yeah, it isn't the smoothest. Did I hear people say, oh, maybe they should take it out? I mean, it adds something. Why can't I find this place? It adds something. Because uh, you have the choice of, um, like, later on, even though we did that training mission, it said, oh, don't shoot your victims. Arrest them. From what I've seen, uh, you can do both. And it has no consequences. Um, so, like, why even have it there? But then, you know, I wouldn't want to just be like solving riddles all the time it, like finding like going around the overworld to find this information breaks it up a little bit and even doing a little bit of combat whether, whether you like it or you think is that that quality is just enough to break it up right if this was fully linear like you know it plays a cutscene and then we go, we go into another room or another manner let's say that's what these games usually do it right and we, we have another like stage two or three is like oh so the murder mystery murder mystery or whatever mystery is in this room and then in this room all this does help to break it up just enough where it makes you feel clever when you you know find this bar or whatever whatever that i cannot find because i'm trying to summarize this game up uh so yeah like seriously seriously um impressed by it. not on a technical level as you can clearly see here but like as a I was like huh i wonder if this game would work because you know you always do research about any game you're gonna cover right and all of these games i mean they don't get nines and tens or anything like that right all of them kind of get sevens and seven and a halfs and this is kind of what this is getting as well but these are very unique, right? Um, maybe they don't review so well because on the technical level and, you know, open world, living, breathing, and you know how everybody wants that level. But, like, on the merits of you don't want to play the same game and again and again, everybody always talks about, oh, Far Cry 6 is the is iterative on the last Far Cry game or, you know, when we cover Forza same thing i guess if you're continuously playing these games because they've made a couple of these now right you'll probably say the same thing there but like in the sense of um i you know most of us i'm probably oh this actually looks nice here some of the effects are really nice here but again performance stuff uh most of us ain't playing these so uh this is a fresh change and from what i understand like the hardcore fans of these series of games and this devs these this devs games they love everything they do i think they'll totally be um impressed with this you know uh couldn't find is it this is it this i don't i mean if we look closer we'll be able to find this bar um because i yeah i heard it does get to that level of oh no you get stuck and you don't know how to progress further, so you have to really scratch your head and think about hey, what clue must I use, what outfit must I be wearing. Uh, I, I, it totally helps to build that whole, yo, you better fully pay attention to everything, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to call it this one. This was a first look at Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. We are playing on Xbox Series X. Full disclosure, review copy provided by the publisher. Uh, as always, short version will be gone up on YouTube. Long version will be gone up on Twitch. Um, I might cut it in a way where I don't spoil that first story and we just show off enough of the game mechanics. I feel like a lot of people will probably be watching this on... But they've never heard of this series before and they want to know what it's about, right? But yeah, full full video will be up on Twitch. Talking, talking of Twitch, we got we stream there a couple times a week. I got a community Discord post on Twitter all the time. All that information will be in the description. Come check us out. Um... Those of new first looks going up on the channel over the last couple of weeks. November has been the big hot month for games coming out. Uh, so we've got loads of content ups. Go check out, see if you're interested. Uh, if you like this video, drop a like, uh, comment, let me know what you thought. Um, subscribe and turn those notification bells on so you do know when new videos drop. Other than that, we are going to call it this one. Thanks for tuning in. Love. Peace.